Hello, welcome to Double Talk. I'm Mark Steffen. And I'm Teddy Aspen, filling in for the missing Mike Mandel, and thank you for making us a part of your Saturday. Right here on the Lost Cruises channel. Channel 98. Comcast 98, and worldwide on YouTube. Hey, you know, the, the show title up front said Batan Death March, which is being held, as it is every year, at White Sands, and it's being held this Sunday. Uh, and uh, I, I hear they have the largest enrollment they've ever had so far. And they usually manage to get some actual death Death March survivors from the original Philippines Death March that the Japanese forced uh, uh, the men, many of whom were out of the uh, New Mexico detachment. Uh, and uh, but you know we're, we're losing many, many every year. We lost several last year, and um, the one just died a few weeks ago. So hopefully there's still a few left who can show up because uh, they 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 become the the king of the of the event. They really uh, honor these guys if they do show up. And they're treated like kings. Um, so, yeah, that's what it looks like this, uh, now when, when they hold it. It's 26 miles that they mark, march, and many of them do it with full backpack on uh, to commemorate what some of the men had to do. And I covered the event for Men's Health Magazine oh, about 10 years ago. Uh, it was kind of windy that day I was out there. It can be windy because it's the windy season. Uh, you can go out there and watch. You don't have to participate, uh, but you can go out there and if you can find a place to pull off the road and watch them go by, they go underneath Highway 70 out to north of, of the, the base area. It begins in the base area itself. So um, I didn't march with them much. I took the media vans anywhere I wanted to. But I did wind up walking in, oh, about two miles during the whole thing with a photographer. And um, so that's going on this weekend. Um, now, you know, uh, a lot of turmoil in Washington. The FBI director was fired uh -oh. 48 hours before he was to retire with full pension. And I guess if he, he appeals it, he, he might still get his pension of $60,000 a year. 60 grand, that's, uh, well, that's half a porn star payoff, isn't it? Yeah, just about. I don't know. I'm thinking by the end of Trump's... Uh four-year term I think all of us will have been fired from the White House in one way or another <laughs> right so uh, yeah um, now our <clears throat> our current uh, congressman from District 2 Steve Pierce this is District 2 right here in Las Cruces one of the largest districts in the country largest one in New Mexico for sure uh, he's running for governor now because he's running for governor he's been the most absentee congressman in Washington this year and uh, Steve Pierce was, uh, has decried same-sex marriage. Why? Because it leads, according to him, to polymorphism. Uh, so if you're of the same sex, and you get married to someone of the same sex, you're going to what? You're going to molt into a, some other species? A butterfly? That's yeah. what polymorphism means. I think he meant polygamy, the ability to marry multiple partners. Uh, because he thinks that, oh well, somebody, somebody could marry a hundred people at once, and they could and all those people have AIDS and they can get that person's health insurance. Uh, well, too bad those people don't have health insurance who have the AIDS. Uh, but that's what he's afraid of. You know, those are his issues. Um, you know, which is funny for a man who has a gay brother. Um, so, uh, Steve Pierce running for governor. Um, I don't think even... He, he was allowed to take his $1 million leftover money from his congressional campaign and roll it over into his, into his gubernatorial campaign. So he's got a million dollar head start on his opponents. Um, so I'm, uh, so that could give him an unfair advantage. Why don't you run for governor? Governor of what? New, New Mexico? Mexico? Really? I don't know enough people. I'm not crooked enough. There we go. You have a conscience and morals. I'm too honest. Yeah, well, you lost my vote. <laughs> now, but you know, that, that's his opponent, uh, Miss Lujan Grisham. And, uh, She's a congressman right now, too, from northern New Mexico. So she knows Steve Pierce. She knows how to run against him, I think. And, and uh, if anyone can beat him, it's her. You know who I'm going to vote for? Mm -hmm. I'm going to vote for the one person that can get all this damn construction done here in town. Yeah, who's that? Anyone who can get the job done. I don't care who. Nobody. That's nobody. Done. Yeah. This is New Mexico. They take as long as they can. Oh, my gosh. They're paid, I, they're paid by the hour. I cannot leave my house and go in any direction without hitting any kind of construction. Neither can I. In fact, I have to take a detour to get here because Doniana Road is completely closed. has been for a month now. And the detour I take dumps me out into a construction zone right behind Albertsons at North Main. 
right? <laughs> oh, God. Um, yeah, it's a hassle getting anywhere these days. Now, uh, when the city actually use the orange barrels that are placed all over the city and actually sell a lot of uh, advertising on that, and I bet we can hmm, probably balance the it? national budget with, yeah. But well, if people are reading the orange barrels instead of watching where they're going, it could be a problem. Well, they're, on, they're texting anyways. I mean, even though <laughs> it's against the law, it yeah. hasn't stopped them. That's true. And, uh, but you know what? New Mexico is usually up there at the top in the worst things, at the bottom on the best things. And sure enough, New Mexico is ranked 49th in child well-being. <clears throat> they take in a lot of factors, including uh, poverty, education, uh, health care, etc., etc. And New Mexico is ranked 49th in child well-being, which is a shame. Uh, but I guess it balances out because we're, we've just been ranked the 78th happiest city to live in. Again, they balance out all kinds of things. Uh, uh, you know, the arts, uh, recreational uh, possibilities, uh, income, etc. And New Mexico came in 78th, this happiest city to live. Uh, are you happy? I'm jolly. I'm so giddy. Eh? I can tell. I, really, man. I, mean, I just want to just, I don't know, I'm in a mariachi kind of moment because a lot of things happening here in Las Cruces that I just want to... Go out there and take part of it. Exactly. I just want to shake my maracas for you at home right now. <laughs> well, um, keep that for the privacy of your own home, will you? If I must. And uh, so, you know, I'm all, all often looking for a job, and I see this job. Uh, Jobs to Careers is the name of the outfit. And um, so I go there because they had a job for TV producer. Oh, TV producer. So, okay, I click on Jobs to Careers. There's no mention of a job for TV producer, but uh, they had 100 jobs in El Paso. TV producer was in Las Cruces at the NMSU. So don't, don't be fooled. They lure you in. I finally found that TV producer job, and it had been closed weeks ago. <laughs> so, um, I, yeah, I am the co-producer of Double Talk, but, you know, that's a part-time job. Extremely. All right, you also got to watch out, too. You know, there's a lot of... Um want to be actors here in town or actually they are currently actors but they want to be you know paid working actors. yes a lot of those scams you got to watch out for too are these um you know calls for extras or for parts and then they'll try to sell you on to oh no 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 we don't have any parts available but you know, if you give us a hundred dollars we can put you on this registry list dude yes. so we can get your name out yeah that's right another. and then of course then they'll say oh but you need new pictures and we can take care of that for you now, that's, we have this package for you. It only costs you $345. Get new headshots, and we'll put it out on social media or whatever. You shouldn't have to pay to get a job. But there's all kinds of scams wrapped around the entertainment industry. There always have been. Even in Hollywood, where I used to live, uh, scams galore. So you, you just have to, <clears throat> you have to beware. Um, you know, the, in, in Los Angeles, there's all of these sub-industries that support the film industry, like acting classes, headshots, uh, all kinds of classes uh, that you are legitimate and that you know you don't feel bad paying for uh, but you have to wash out which ones uh, uh, scam you and there's plenty of those there's classes here acting classes here you can take that are legitimate put on by legitimate people and uh, they're out there I see them on the internet all the time uh, I won't name names but uh, there's a couple of acting classes going on or enrolling people right now film acting primarily Two of them that I know of. Yeah, I'm sure you do too. I I, I do. Um, my biggest complaint is no improv acting. Mm -hmm. That's true. There there is very little improv acting going on. Uh, improv scares a lot of people. Let's face it. Oh, why? Actors. Okay, why? Oh, because it's it's like a spontaneous. You actually have to think on your feet, and uh, you know it scares a lot of people. You know, um, I I think it's good to be scared and get up there and do it. Um, and the more you do it, the better you get at it, right? Well, it's like anything. I mean, basketball, football, golf. I mean, the more you practice, sure. the better you get. Absolutely. However, it's, it's, it's acting. You just don't need a script. You listen <laughs> and you put in your input and you tell a tale, all spontaneous. Yes. Um, someone out there believes that the uh, it's supposed to be funny. No. Comedy. Someone put the word comedy in front of improv and made a ton of money. And now improv is synonymous with comedy. No, no, no. Unscripted means without a script. It can be a drama, musical, tragedy, wherever the story takes you, you goes. And 
if anyone laughs, it's going to be the audience who laughs, and they're going to decide what's funny and what's not, not the actors. Right. Well, I think it's because of things like Second City and the Groundlings, who did Im comedic improv, because they were all wanted to be comedians anyway. So I think that's where that is issue comes from. But you're right, it can be anything. And um, so now, <clears throat> I was notice noticing in the paper, they were talking about recycling. Uh, the recycling, the people that take all our recycling in Las Cruces, from your blue uh, cans in town, if you live in town. Mm -hmm. I live in the county where we don't have recycling door to door, so I have to take my recycling to the recycling center. Uh, and all, all of that stuff that people recycle goes to El Paso, that a business down there that processes all this stuff and then sends it off to China or, or wherever they sell it. Uh, they're getting ready not to take as many things as they used to. Uh, they used to take plastic bags, those plastic grocery bags, the city will not accept those anymore. They, they lost the buyer for those, apparently. Although you can't drop them off at uh, Albertsons and Walmart. But uh, as far as uh, cardboard goes, it's got to be car corrugated cardboard, not uh, Kleenex boxes and that sort of thing. Uh, and it can't be pizza boxes with uh, stuck-on cheese. They don't want dirty. Uh, they don't want dirty recycling. China now is cracking down because they, they accept most of the recycling, and they are getting much pickier. They don't want dirty uh, product coming in. <coughs> and uh, some of the things that they do take, though, include phone books, yes. Plastics, number three to seven. If you look underneath a plastic item with a triangle on it, it'll have a number. And it'll, it'll take plastics one and two, yes. And plastics three to seven, no. Printer paper, yes. Steel cans and aluminum cans, yes. Uh, food boxes such as cereal, cake, and TV dinners? No. Lids? Yes. Plastic containers of lids? Lids for plastic containers. <clears throat> Thin cardboard cartons like uh, orange, milk, and other cartons? No. Thin paper store receipts? Yeah, they'll take those. Styrofoam of any kind? No, not here. I wish they did. Clean plastic containers that held food? No. Plastic straws? No, they don't want those. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I've been throwing those in with it. Glossy or newspaper type magazines? No. Glossy calendars? Yes. I don't know what the difference is. <clears throat> Newspapers? No. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, these are items that to be thrown. Should these following items be thrown into blue curbside bins under the new protocol? Newspapers? No. I guess the newspapers you have to personally take down to the city or the county recycling center. Empty toilet paper rolls? No. Paper towels, tissues, toilet paper? No. Sh shredded office paper? Yes. Junk mail and stuff like that? Yes. Envelopes and everything? Yes. Uh, cellophane address p panels? Yes, but you have to take the cellophane panel out. That's right. <laughs> office paper? Yes. And uh, gift wrapping, yes, you can actually do gift wrapping. Shampoo, soap bottles, yes, if they're number one or two plastics, but you have to use your own water to rinse them out. Metal aerosol cans, yes, turn them upside down, decompress the pressure in there. Then take off the plastic nozzle. Hardback books, yes, and paperback books, yes. I tell you, how about this? When we take, I mean, there's, there's too many no's on this list. <laughs> Why we just recycle everything and turn it into orange barrels? And I guarantee there's going to be a, a street in my neighborhood that's going to need the orange barrels that we can make out of this recycled junk. I wonder if they can re re recycle orange barrels. No, they're always in use. You can't recycle. Oh, okay. Those. Well, we're going to take a break right now. When we come back, we're going to talk about a lot more interesting stuff. Keep it here on Double Talk. Ladies and gentlemen, prepare to hold your color. Professional home cleaning service. 
Your satisfaction is our priority. Let us do the work so you can relax. Call us at 655-0009. Call Mark Goldstein, the safe money guy, at 575-556-2472 to learn about innovative strategies now available to help you grow, protect, and preserve your money and financial future, regardless of market conditions. Horizon Granite is here. We'll come to you to customize your kitchen and bathroom with beautiful countertops and cabinets. Find out more at horizongranite.com. Call us at 575 650 3180. Horizon Granite is here. It's here. Make yourself a beautiful home. We are back. This is Double Talk. And thank you for joining us on a Saturday right here on Las Cruces Channel 98. Or Daddy, thanks for you joining us today, sitting in for Mike Mandel. I know. Apparently, okay, this is how you know it's summer. Usually when you come in and fill in for Mike Mandel, the seat is always warm. But apparently it's spring, <laughs> and he waxes his bikini line. Seat's not so warm anymore. Not so warm anymore. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, we'll have to take that up with him later. I don't want to see why it's not that <laughs> way. That's for sure. Just, just to put a cap on the recycling uh, topic we were talking about, if you need, need to take your recycling to the recycling centers, like I have to do, there's two of them in town. Uh, one is uh, way out on Amador, if you take Amador West, headed toward the river. Amador dead ends, at where you would recycle your materials. So that's a very easy one to find. The other one is up there on Sonoma Ranch Boulevard. If you take Loman East, turn right on Sonoma Ranch. And uh, just down a little bit on your left is the recycling center. I was there recently. I had first time I'd actually been there, and those bins were every bin was full, overflowing. I had to leave my items next to the bins. So people are recycling, and that's a good thing to see. Now another thing that's going on in Las Cruces is we're trying to attract film production to Las Cruces. Albuquerque gets all the film, and, and Santa Fe gets it all. Las Cruces gets very little. And when they, when they do come here, they usually come here for the outdoor vistas. Then they go back to the Albuquerque because that's where the sound stages are. Well, we now have a sound stage facility, which is basically a big empty warehouse. And that's fine. It's got high enough ceilings. Uh, there's enough clear spans that you can build large standing sets. And I was glad to see that. Uh, but now Las Cruces is finally getting around to doing what I've been bugging them to do for the last 10 years provide their own incentives to productions so that a production will come here instead of Roswell or Alamogordo. They can be based here. We have everything uh, to offer them. We have the crew base and... Uh, quality actors. <laughs> and quality actors, we have those. Uh, and we have the facilities now. So the city is offering, they're gonna ha they're, they have a budget of $40,000 that they can uh, give away as incentives, such as, well, they can provide free whatever. Most of us will be like things provided for free. Free permitting, uh, free parking, free use of uh, city uh, buildings and properties, um, and other things that um, might cost them money someplace else. The city can provide them or pay for those, those goods and services. So that's a good idea. Places like the Tucson and Shreveport, they've been providing incentives for years. Um, if you want to do a movie in Tucson, you send them your script, they will break down the script for you of all the locations that they think would be appropriate. They will fly you in, put you up, and take you to those locations. That's quite a good oh, deal. Oh, yes. That's, good. That's, that's a good incentive to want to do your movie, your, your movie in that town. Uh, Shreveport uh, it has very big arms to welcome filmmakers there, too, and they have their own set of uh, incentives. Las Cruces needs to be on that, too. We're all on I-10 I I corridor. Uh, and Las Cruces is right in the middle. So, uh, yeah, Cruces, let's get it on. Get those incentives rolling. Well, we send out, like, bowls of green chili with, you know, some tostada chips uh -huh. to movie producers and scriptwriters and all that stuff. 
and just send them just enough to where and you know mm. just really gets their palate craving more green but they're chili. Appetite, they want to and then they'll like you want more you bring you bring your film here. <laughs> you know, you have all the chili dip you can eat. And so all right. Uh, we'll be, this is one of our favorite topics on this show is, is film production in Las Cruces because we need it. It's a clean industry too. And when they leave, they don't leave a big mess behind. So <clears throat> now I went into Sprouts grocery store the other day. Have you been to Sprouts? I have yet? not. How is it? Oh, it's a nice store. They've got a lot of stuff. Um, some of it is pricier than other places in town, and some isn't. It's not all uh, organic the way Natural Grocers is, but uh, they have a nice variety of things. They have a, a, a deli bar there. They have a fish, a butcher block type of place, and they had pie, fruit pies on sale. Uh, cherry pie. I was in the mood for some cherry pie. I bought a cherry pie. It's five dollars. It said right on the box, cherry pie. It said on my receipt, cherry pie. I took the pie home. It wasn't cherry pie. It was blueberry pie. They put the wrong pie in, in the in the cherry pie box. It's a film incentive because the <laughs> yeah. the blueberries were acting like cherries. Ah, you were fooled. I, I was. It was role playing on the blueberries part. So I took the pie back, and they said, "Oh, you know what? You're the second pie that I know of that's happened that way. Somebody thought they were getting a peach pie, and they didn't get." So I exchanged it. I said, you can't tell it's not cherry because the, the, the crust covers it up. Well, they gave me a cherry pie. Actually, there was a little cherry dribble on the side proving it, and there was a crack in the middle. Yeah, okay, that's red. That's cherry pie. So you have to watch it when you go to Sprouts. If you get a fruit pie, make sure it's the pie that you really want. That yeah. old fruit bait and switch <laughs> gag, huh? I like a good yeah. blueberry pie, but... Uh, I know it wasn't like imitation cherry, you know? Ooh, just like like imitation crab, which like baby cherries, maybe yeah. cherry the veal of cherries. I, I never quite understood the pr uh, imitation. Where do you get imitation crab from? Imitation crabs. Oh, like, oh what? Do, I mean, do they like, cast rod? They catch fish and throw it back in. The fish goes, no wait, I can make a great crab. <laughs> I can be a crab. Actually, it's white fish in many ways, and they dye it uh, orange or whatever. Um, and they call it crab of the K. Yeah, I never caught that, but you're right. <laughs> Yeah, so be careful when you buy a fruit pie. Well, you got to be careful when you buy anything these days. Uh, what's that? Yeah, poke it with your finger. Yeah, that's good. If it's not cherry, just lick your finger and move on. <laughs> now this weekend we've got several several things going on, uh, including GameCon. If you're a gamer, yeah, if you're into gaming and you know between the ages of eight and uh, seventeen, uh, this is the place for you. Eight and seventeen, man. Eight and like a hundred, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm still a gamer. I mean, oh, yeah. I'm not as much as I was when I was younger due to being, you know, being an adult, but that's only because you have to work to pay bills in order to keep the electricity on to play your games. To play your games and to buy the games. I know you have a Ms. Pac-Man in your living room. Uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, you, gaming's for everybody uh, these days. And you, you see people there of, of all ages. And it's at the convention center this weekend. Uh, Saturday and Sunday. Oh, and it's not just uh, video games either. It's no. also like um, you know card games, board games. I mean, mm -hmm. every, every every game uh, possible you can imagine playing, it's there for Playing you. it, you can buy them. I've always known a lot of girls who played games. Maybe they'll be there. You never can tell. <laughs> and uh, so that's going on. Las Cruces Convention Center. It's the first time they're at the convention center. This is uh, like nine years. And uh, yeah, so check them out if you're into games. Or, or if you're game curious. Also going on this weekend, downtown, the Main Street Sweet Fest. is having time to be on a diet. Yes, indeed. Going on right down on the plaza area of uh, Main Street, Las Cruces. Uh, there, there will be any number of uh, vendors of dessert products, basically. Chocolates, candies, desserts, baked goods, pastries. Um, there'll be food trucks that purvey these things as well as people who have stores here in town that purvey these things. So run on down there and, and uh, say, uh, diet? Who needs a diet this weekend? And remember, poke it with your finger and test to make sure That's you're right. getting the right fruit. That's correct. Uh, <clears throat> now, um, also this weekend is the final weekend of the uh, fabulous play An Enemy of the People. Put your finger in that, and it's not going to be sweet. It's a mm -hmm. hardcore drama. It is, and uh, but it's relevant. It's relevant. It's all about fake news and the freedom of the press and media manipulation and political corruption. Can't go wrong with that. And, and uh, well, Teddy and I both happen to be in the play just by mere happenstance. And uh, yeah, so that's tonight, Saturday night, eight o'clock. 
and uh, Sunday afternoon at 2, and then it's gone forever at the Las Cruces Community Theater, right downtown on Main Street. You can go get, uh, what, Farmer's Market in the morning, get your burritos or your you know, good quality food. Mm -hmm. Then you can hang out for the Sweet Fest. Sweet Fest all Get your desserts, then you come on in, and uh, sure. the cherry on top is going to be the enemy of the people. Yeah, actually, you can have dinner downtown at one of the fine restaurant establishments, like the Dragonfly or, or Rosie's Cantina. And, uh, I think, and uh, so. Yeah, Sugi's, that new place that opened up. Yeah, Sugi, it used to be Max Meat Market. Yep, yeah, that's open. Uh, Days, uh, Days Hamburgers, I don't think they do dinner, they close early, but uh, you could, I think there's yeah, lots of good eats, yeah. yeah. Eight or nine o'clock, yeah. So there's more and more places to eat downtown, and you get to see a show. And you get free uh, free cookies and soda at the intermission at the, at the community theater. So you can't beat that. <laughs> um, now, also, we want to mention our uh, one of our one of our supporters here, the club store at 910 North Telshore. Okay, now explain to me club store. I've seen it around. Mm -hmm. Being that the word club is in that, do you have to join a club? You need you a membership. Not. You do not need any of that. That's just the name, and it might be changing soon also. No, you just walk in. It's not a membership store. Uh, although some of the merchandise you see in there has come from membership stores like Costco, Sam's Club, etc. Overruns and, and uh, closeouts and what have you at marked down prices. And they have everything in there and you never know what they're going to have from week to week. That's why it's a good idea to stop in there on a weekly basis. Uh, they have food, they have clothing, they have home goods, furniture, glasses, appliances, uh, you name it. They pretty much have it. Even bicycles. You never know what they're going to have. Do they have a new sponsor? Well, they are our sponsor. Well, do they have new sponsors that we can go in and buy? Sponsors? Why, yes. <laughs> well, because I know of one new sponsor. Yes. Why, Horizon Granite. Oh. <laughs> yes. They're, they're a new sponsor of ours. And uh, go in and see them. They're on uh, Hadley. And uh, Horizon Granite, not just for granite. They'll do countertops, uh, cupboards, uh, floors. Uh, they, you know, they remodel your kitchen for you. And, may, and probably your bathroom, too, and, and various portions of the household. Get yourself a good countertop for those appliances that you buy from the club store and uh, the utensils that you're going to use to eat your desserts from the Sweet Fest. Absolutely. So, say it's the circle of life right there. Yeah, you even play a game that you get from the convention center at the There's Game Fest. On the granite countertop. Oh, my gosh. There it is. Well, we, <laughs> we're already out of time, Teddy. I don't believe it. Uh, so, we are out of time. Thanks for joining us here on Double Talk, Teddy. Tense, thanks for sitting in. It's been a pleasure. In. Thank you very much for having me. And join us next week right here on Double Talk. Take care.